I'm watching the new Bay video with my Bay, and right off the right off the jump, it's racist. Right off the jump, I'm gagging because I'm like all of this Indian, all of this Desi, this Daisy um, imagery. We're clearly in India. Why is Bay in India? I'm not getting it. I'm not understanding. Oh, and this is during uh, what is it? Is it called Holy? When they put the, the colors on them. That's interesting. It's like, oh, wow, white people just happen to be in India when they're doing the color shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you, Marsh666. I was at work all day, bitch, sweat my mug. Oh, no, Beyonce, not with this crown. I can't. I can't. Oh, and the head on the hands, Beyonce. But I feel like this is a larger thing. I feel like Beyonce in this video is a larger thing. It's more about, I feel like, being an exotical than I think it is about, I think it's about blurring the lines of, of ethnicity. Like, I feel like they want white people to feel comfortable. They want black people to feel comfortable. They want black folks to feel comfortable just stealing Daisy culture. They want, they're like, I feel like this is what this is showing. It's like, yo, check out these Indian folk. Yes, get into these colors. Yes, get into these buildings. Shit. Wow. And Beyonce is in a movie. Seemingly. Oh, Beyonce. Why wouldn't... Why wouldn't they just, it, it could be pretty cool see things, but it's like, it's not pretty to me. Like, this isn't pretty to me. Like, I feel like, I like, it's, it's just like, it's just very like, it's very exploitative. And I feel like the reality is like all this imagery, they could have really found a sickening, badass, like black Daisy person. Wow. They got a nigga with a fucking fire. They got a fire spitter. Fire breathers. Wow. And I bet you Coldplay ain't did shit for India. Coldplay ain't donate no coin, no poster, no calendar, no pens, nothing. Oh my God, babe. This is so creepy. Whew. Did she say I'm feeling drunk in love? I mean, I feel, my thing is this, you could go to India a million times. It still doesn't give you any kind of authority on the culture. You know how many white people been here? You know how many white people stole this land from native folks? We still don't give a fuck. We don't care how long you've been here. You still can't wear war bonnets. Like, I, I don't get, well, I don't get this shit. I'm sad, because I really do fuck with Beyonce, and I was awaiting the next album, because I was like, you know what, 4 was classic, Beyonce was just, like, iconic, but I was like, this new shit is going to be popping, and I'm sad, because I'm like, Beyonce, you look the fucking fool. Real talk, you know what, Beyonce is giving me, she didn't even, like, she's literally giving me, like, some racist ass, she looked like a witch tease, like, that's how I really feel. She was giving me demonic, and I don't care how anybody feels about that. She was giving me, I'm going to steal your culture, and I'm going to creep you to fuck out at the same damn time. Because that shit was kind of creepy to me. And it wasn't creepy because she was, like, in all of this Daisy garb, but it was like, Beyonce, you're from Houston, bitch. Do some Houston shit. Why don't people just stay in their lane? She could really do some New Orleans shit now that she live here, and people wouldn't even side-eye her for, for doing no New Orleans shit. If but anything... She's been, she been in the Josephine Giants since forever, too. So we've been locked on that shit. But I'm just saying, though, like... Like, she... Like, like Beyonce come to New Orleans... Like, Beyonce live in New Orleans. Like, people... Like, and I still feel like Shade, because she says she's from the Third Ward in motherfucking Texas. That's not fucking New Orleans. That's not Louisiana. But I feel like folks still fuck with her enough to where she could really do that. Like, New Orleans West. I feel like... I feel like the only black, like, uh, celeb that can't do that is fucking Nikki. I feel like Nikki could not come to New Orleans and be like, I'm repping NOLA. Like, I feel like she couldn't do that. I think too many people will read her. Plus, I feel like she's from New York, so like it would look like shade if she was trying to like be like pretend like she's from the South. But I feel like when people from the South, they be claiming the whole South. They be claiming Mac Memphis. They be claiming motherfucking Atlanta. They be claiming uh, Missouri. They do, but like, but notice. Atlanta ain't never gonna tell you from nowhere but Atlanta. True. But 
if you from if you if you if you ain't really cause like what is Houston you know like what I was not blaming I was not blaming Coldplay at all. Oh, what up, Taylor? Oh, I love your Abby girl. Um, not so easy. -y. I don't feel like there was any other different style of dress that she could have worn. She knew she was going to India with Coldplay. Like, like I'm just trying to think about what that's like as a performer. Like, I know that she's a fan. I know, I know we all. If you're a Beyonce fan, I know you've seen Beyonce singing "Yellow" with Jay Z randomly outside of the bodega, and you're like, oh wow, they like Coldplay. They regular. But my shit was. Gwyneth. Mm. Like, that's, that's what happens when you and your besties get together talking about shit. Where you at, bro? Bitch. Come on, I just gave you one. Uh-uh. Get it out your ass, bro. No. You mean. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I let me just light. Like, let me just light my shit and I'll find my shit, okay? You're gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Like, I bought a fucking five pack, bro, for this It's not it. Stop throwing shit. Bay, bay, your watermelon not going bad by me. I'm, I'm protecting it. I wasn't even done. I didn't even stop for you make this shit go out. And you don't give me the lighter again. I went to Afropunk a couple years ago, and I seen a black girl wearing a fucking bendy, and she was a fan of mine, and she was being so sweet. But the whole time I was like, girl, I want to tell her. I want to be like, girl, like, is that a third eye adornment? What does this mean to you? What does it signify to you? But I was like, you know what? I don't know you like that, so I'm not gonna pop off on you. But I feel like people feel like they be known artists. I feel like, and I feel like Beyonce has an illustrious career. You know what I mean? As I said, it was called Destiny's Child, not Destiny's Children. Beyonce's destiny was always to be famous, always to you know be big. Like that's just you don't name your child Beyonce for nothing. Come on now, Come on. maybe it's a cultural name. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's fucking weird. Maybe it's short for Beyonceus. No. Well, hers isn't. Maybe hers is, but like Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. 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 Okay, well. Beyonce. Like we know the origins of niggas' names. No, we don't know. We do. Beyonce, you know the origin? Yes, it's her mother's maiden name. Okay. Random facts, you know? Things are not. Somebody said Beyonce is French. Somebody said Beyonce comes from her brother's la her brother's last name, Beyonce. Oh my god, we should do Beyonce trivia in the house. Cause yeah, adore me. You got money and you got money coming. Y'all did it. It was with an I though. It wasn't an O. It was like Oh, innocent. extended points for this bitch. I feel like that's the main uh, complaint with Ghazi is that is that he appropriates West African culture. But I feel like low key, like I I feel like what is what is the reconciliation as black folks? Like what is the reconciliation there? How can we know who we are? You know what I mean? How can we know who we are and 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 use that as our culture when we talk about? Black folks don't have a culture. Black people were stolen. Isn't that in itself a new culture that we created? So I feel like there is pride to be taken. I feel like these radical folks, they get caught up in trying to go back to Africa, calling, be like, before the white man, it was a Kibalan. Back to Kemet, back to Kemet. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm on this, this, I'm trying to deal with where we're at right now. You know what I mean? Revolution pending, you know, survival. So it's kind of just like, we need to survive right now, but we should also be talking about the ways that we can build off of what the fuck is popping. But we, I feel like as black people, we have multiple cultures. I feel like we have so many cultures, but I feel like we have been stolen from. So I feel like in ways, um, sometimes maybe we steal back, but I feel like in this in this instance, I don't feel like Beyonce is doing any kind of stealing back. I feel like Beyonce, for the most part in this video, she's just a light-skinned black woman getting coin. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? Let's be real with ourselves. This wasn't about global success because that video, was, that, that song was trash. It was about money. It was about money. It wasn't about nothing. What? Thank you. It wasn't about nothing but money. So it, it's like... It's like if we know that something was driven by capitalism, can't we infer that this person's like seemingly wokeness, you know what I mean? They were talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z want to buy the copyrights to motherfucking the Confederate flag. But, and everybody was hyped. But I was like, wait, but if y'all buy the rights to it, what is y'all going to turn it to? Because, you know, folks going to still try to use it. You don't buy rights to shit unless you're trying to sell some shit. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, Beyonce, what's popping? You know what I mean? But I feel like people be so shook. Like when Belle came for Beyonce, a lot of people left Belle. But I feel like Belle's also uh, be internalizing misogyny um, and motherfucking be coming at people for being sex workers and shit. So, she, so Belle Hooks definitely is problematic. But aren't we all? You know what I mean? There's ways that we're all problematic. But I feel like because Belle Hooks is, again, she's a book writer. She, um, she has, you know, she holds all types of conferences and speaking gigs and shit like that. So... 
Oh, exactly. Uh, cool C sings, if Beyonce wasn't able to code as white passing or white masquerading, Beyonce would not be as famous. I feel like it's the fact that she can go, I feel like it's the ultimate code switch. Just like Drake, I was thinking about this too, because I was listening to uh, his song, I was listening to Jumpman, and he was talking about his uh, his cousins in Memphis are so wild, and I started thinking about how when he was doing uh, his Hell Yeah Fucking Right video, he was with all the white boys uh, in, the, in the synagogue, and I was like, wow, like that's what biracial means to a lot of people, is like this fetishized idea of like this person having two lives, this person being able to swim in two ponds. So I feel like for Beyonce with having two black parents, but one of them is Creole, one of them is not like readily um, always assumed to be what a black. I feel like that kind of lets her quote unquote swim in a few ponds. But I feel like because when we talk about I mean, when we talk about Beyonce and Drake, Drake is like, I'm from Memphis, bitch, and I'm from Toronto. I'm claiming white-ass Toronto, and I'm claiming black-ass Memphis. Like, that's where he's coming from. As far as Beyonce's going, Beyonce's claiming Texas-like shit, and then sometimes New Orleans, living there, and then now seemingly India. But not really. There was nothing in it. Like, Beyonce wasn't even in the video. Beyonce was a deity in India. Like, she was not in the video. She wasn't a free-formed agent. She was a motherfucking, seemingly a pop star that they were watching, an Indian pop star. On Chris Martin's uh, trip to India, he got to see a beautiful, godlike deity who was this pop star, and it's Beyonce. It's a black woman dressed like an a, a, a Indian woman. And then it makes me think about the fucking, um, uh, the hot and top Venus. The fucking uh, Sarah Bartman and how Beyonce just got snatched for trying to come out with a movie. And I do believe that's the case. I don't think anybody would have put it out there that she was trying to write a movie about Sarah Bartman if it wasn't the case. Come on now. Do people don't be pulling shit out their ass like that. That ain't no crazy rumor. That's some shit that I really think she would do. In my opinion, I feel like she could do a Josephine Baker. But I feel like she would go with the Sarah Bartman because I feel like... I, I think in ways, in the er, er, in her earlier days, they were trying to say she was curvy. They were trying to say she was a curvy woman. And now she's very thin. So I feel like in ways, like, maybe she's trying to have a seemingly a journey, a personal connection when she was thick Beyonce. And everybody was talking about Beyonce's weight because she's no longer thick Beyonce anymore. But she could be thick Beyonce for a role. So I feel like that's a thing, too. But I feel like also... I have a lot of opinions on Beyonce. But I feel like it's also analysis. And low-key, Sydney, all these lighters were underneath my ass. Like, I was literally, I'm always sitting on fucking lighters. And I'd be like, what? Or I'd tuck them underneath my belly. And then I'd be like, where's my lighter? And then I'd stand up and I'd be falling out. I'd be like, oh, belly, be hiding shit from me. Beyonce participates in beauty culture for her for her money. You know what I mean? If, if Beyonce could make money with her natural hair, she would. No shade and no tea. But I feel like Solange, Solange too. Solange did the big chop and then what? Went right back to big ass wigs. It's like it's no tea and it's no shade. I'm just saying, if, if black folks felt like they could make money with their natural hair, they would try to make money, especially Beyonce. But I feel like the reality is, I feel like so many of us know for our gerb, for our nine to five, for our fucking paycheck, for our steady, we got a code. And so I feel like Beyonce's code right now is letting me know that she don't really give a fuck about Daisy women. She don't really give a fuck about dark skinned Daisy women having any kind of feature ability because she could have sang the song and never been, and been in the video on like a me and Chris's best friends. If she was on some shit with me and Chris's best friends and we just in India doing like some fake uh, philanthropy, she could have showed like her in the water like she did with the blue video. She didn't have to do all that. But it, it, it seems really sad. Black women deserve, and black femme people deserve to have whatever hair they want to fucking have. Because I feel like we're living in a society, or, or rather, we have always lived in a society that has always policed our bodies. So I feel like to take back your body is so radical and so fucking important. I feel like if you know that like you are going to slay with an OD long, straight, white wig, then get that shit for yourself. But I feel like... Um, Ms. Virgo, when we talk about coding, we talk about pat, we talk about, uh, um, respectability. We talk about, um, uh, passing. Some people pass for white. Some people pass for cis. Some people pass for thin. People be like treating Beyonce like she's their best friend. Like they grew up with this bitch and so they know her mind. But it's like the reality is Beyonce is older than a lot of us. And Beyonce has been able to afford all types of works, all types of books, and all types of motherfucking teachings. So in ways, I feel like because we don't see her as older and as our, um, instead as our peer, I think we have a lot of care for her. And I also think like, you know, 
because, you know, she's raising a young, black, natural hair daughter. Folks are very invested in her daughter's natural hair. So I feel like people are very invested in her life in this way that I feel like is very much an avatar-based society. Like, somebody was talking about Kim Kardashian being an avatar. Like, people being able to live through her. Like, her not having any skills, just beating her face, having friends that have money or whatever, and then just, like, you know, aspiring to a lifestyle. And I feel like, because of that, I feel like you have to look at people's avatars, like how people come out. You know what I mean? Look at Ariana Grande. She just popped on the scene. She's super thin. She's very young looking. A lot of young girls are, are aspiring to be that avatar. They want to be able to, you know, be in the black crowd. Yeah. You know, sing R&B. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that, that's what they want to do. And then if you look at, like, an avatar like Jay-Z, it's the ultimate avatar for so many black men. I see through this ca catalog of music and this person's persona that they put out that I can too. You know what I mean? And I feel like when celebrities especially lose weight, that's when people really get into them because you're just like, yes, this bitch lost weight. I'm going to lose weight too. That's what I'm going to be. And that's why before and after pictures are just so triggering because people don't realize people are living through avatars that are just their friends. People live through other people all the time. The avatar culture is real, y'all.